Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching Ease Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install GCC version 10 on Microsoft Windows 10 using MinGW through Chocolaty. So Chocolaty is basically a package manager for Microsoft Windows that lets you manage anything that you want to install or un uninstall using command prompt or PowerShell. So the first requirement is you need to have Windows 7 and above. Uh, also, if you're using Microsoft Windows Server, so that has to be 2003 and above. So go ahead and launch your preferred browser and go to chocolatey.org here, slash install, and you will be landing on this page. Now to install Chocolatey, we will go ahead and run this command get hyphen execution policy through PowerShell admin. So PowerShell, I mean PowerShell has to run as administrator. So go ahead and launch your PowerShell with admin rights and then run this get execution policy. So it may return all signed or restricted. If you get restricted, then you need to set execution policy to all signed so when you run this if you get all signed then you are ready to install chocolate so here i'm just going to check get policy and you can see it says all signed so if you're getting all signed you are already set if you are getting restricted then you need to set the policy to all signed so go ahead and copy this and run it on your command prompt Okay, so you'll simply say A to all and this will be done and you will have to check whether it's all signed, returning all signed or not. So make sure you got all signed your execution policy and then copy this command to install chocolatey on your system. And I already have installed it. So please use Choco upgrade. So I don't need to do any upgrade or anything like that. Now I can run choco command here. So you can see it here. That's choco help command. Now I, you must relaunch your PowerShell now to install GCC 10. So now you can, um, but remember to launch it with admin right. So you can either launch CMD or PowerShell with administrator rights to install GCC and G++. So basically you can use Choco to list GCC. And this is going to check all the packages on the chocolatey repository. And it says there are 17 packages that you can install. So GCC, ARM, possibly broken so not in uh, good sign so if you're getting anything possibly broken don't go ahead and install using chocolatey it might break the installation process what i would do i will go ahead and install mingw which will install gcc and c++ sorry gcc and g++ so go ahead and do that now you can also go ahead and say choco info mingw. So this will give you information about the, the package, which is mingw. So title, it's going to be 64-bit. Uh, it's also available in 32-bit. And you can see this is coming from the mingw summary GCC for Windows 64 and 32 bits. So which is awesome and chocolatey package source so it's coming from big bit bucket all right so now to install chocolatey sorry mingw you you will simply say choco install mingw you can also say y or a or simply run it and then hit so since i already have installed it you will get a prompt to enter a or 
Y. So simply type A and hit enter. So MinGW is already installed on my system. Now there's one more package that I highly suggest people install is Make. So Make is basically to make your life easier if you are a C++ programmer. So Make is already installed, you can see. So this is how you download and install uh, GCC compiler and make using chocolate on Microsoft Windows 10. Now let me go ahead and run everything and make sure you already have installed. So GCC hyphen hyphen version and you can see you've got 10.2.0 which is almost latest. I can also go ahead and check G++. I also have make which is good. Good for me. See uh, what happens when you install G MinGW, it will install so many packages and it will take so long time. So you will have to be patient. It may take up to 10 minutes. So you will have to be patient. All right. Now, uh, let me go ahead and show you through by running few codes. So you can see in this directory, basically I've got hell.cpp q dot so let me run this q dot cpp so what i will do i will simply type q like this so what will this make do for me this will write output file q for me and also q dot cpp so it will go ahead and locate q dot cpp and we'll make sure your compiled is also called q.exe, right, on Microsoft. So that's the beauty of using make. So if I go ahead and hit enter, you can see how it is going to do things for me. So what it did, it just ran this command g++ q.cpp and output file is going to be, which is .exe q.exe so this is why i use make to compile c++ programs similarly you can go ahead and run your c programs like this instead of g++ you simply type gcc file name like c file name and you can give a flag and then the output file name which is going to be exe file a package now i can go ahead and run this package you can see it's working right so this is how you basically compile c and c++ program using gcc on windows 10 all right thank you for watching bye for now